There are two ways to use your Canon M50 as a webcam. You can either install the EOS webcam utility software or you could use a capture card. I'm gonna show you how to set up using both these methods and I'll also share with you the comparison, the pros and the cons between the two. Starting with the first method, using the Canon EOS webcam utility software. Now, this is Canon's official software, and at the time of this recording, it's free for you to download and use. This is not to be confused with the other Canon EOS utility software that's just missing the word webcam in between. That software does other things like transferring files from your camera to the computer, remotely controlling your camera from the computer, and so on. So I don't know why the names are very similar, I just wanna point it out before you get confused yourself. It's available on both Windows and Mac, and the official web page will update whenever it supports a new camera model. By the way, I'll leave a link to this EOS webcam utility software in the description below so you can check it out. So to get started, you just download this software, install it into your computer, then hardware-wise, you will need a micro USB to USB cable to connect your Canon M50 to your computer. In case you need that, link will also be in the description. Next, head over to the M50, switch to video mode, and turn on the camera. Now, when I was first trying out this software, I was a bit confused. I spent at least 20 minutes or 30 minutes looking for the software in my computer. <sighs> Turns out, it's more like a plugin than an actual software with an interface. No menus, no buttons, none of that. To actually use this EOS webcam utility software, you just go to any of the compatible software and then in your video settings, select this as an option for your video input and then you're good to go, it's that easy. The next method to turn your Canon M50 into a webcam is to use a capture card. Now there are different brands of capture cards out there and there are different price ranges. I've got this one right here, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. It's the cheapest one I could find and it does its job surprisingly well. You'll also need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Now, in terms of the setup, you first need to connect the capture card to your computer. Then, connect the HDMI end of the cable to the capture card and take the micro HDMI end and connect that to the camera. Next, go to your camera, switch to video mode and turn on the camera. You can go to any software that's compatible like Zoom and then head over to the settings and select USB video as your video option. One thing to note when you're using this capture card method is that the Canon M50 screen is being mirrored to your computer. That means you'll see all sorts of camera information on your video recording itself. This is what we call dirty HDMI output, by the way. Now, the opposite is to get a clean HDMI output. And to get that clean HDMI output, head over to your video settings in your Canon M50, head over to tab number nine, select HDMI info display, Depending on which setting you're using for your video, select the clean output for either 4K or Full HD. Unfortunately, this clean HDMI output setting is only available on the Canon M50 Mark II, which is the latest camera model. So I'll make another video in the future if I can find a solution for the normal Canon M50. Now with the setup out of the way, I'm gonna share the pros and cons for both these methods, and I'll be using these categories to rank them. Ease of setup, hardware requirement, clean HDMI output, recording limit, and video quality. When it comes to the ease of setup, at a glance, it seems that both are very easy to set up. However, when it comes to the capture card method, if you wanna get the best out of it, you need to fiddle around with more settings, and I'll explain more in a minute. So for this round, I'm giving it to the EOS webcam utility. In terms of hardware requirements, you just need a micro USB cable to get started with the EOS webcam utility, which is great. The micro USB has so many more use cases for it, like connecting to your computer and to other software. You can also use it to transfer files to your computer. And so the return on investment on buying one of these cables is really high. The capture card and the micro HDMI cable is only meant to mirror the image of your camera to your computer, which means that it's not as useful compared to the micro USB and unless you're using it to live stream a lot or maybe doing lots of zoom calls, it's going to collect dust. So another point for the EOS webcam utility. Now when it comes to clean HDMI output, out of the box, using the EOS webcam utility software will just solve that problem. You don't have to worry about it. Whereas if you use the capture card, you'll need to fiddle around with some settings 
to go and get that clean HDMI output. And what's worse, on older models of the Canon M50, you don't even have that settings in your camera. So once again, I'm giving the point to the EOS webcam utility. Some cameras have recording limits built into them. So when you're using the Canon M50, for example, you can only record up to 30 minutes before it shuts off. When you're using the EOS webcam utility software, this is now being handled by the software itself and it's gonna override or switch off your recording limit. When using the capture card, it's gonna be different because it's trying to mirror whatever is on the screen of your Canon M50 onto your computer, which means the recording limit is still in place. You can do a little hack where you use another software called the EOS utility, turn it on while you have your camera connected to your computer, and then somehow that will disable the recording limit. And I think it's because it's connected to the fact that your screen has a recording limit as well. So it's gonna switch off and that is gonna switch off your actual recording. So yeah, if you're confused about all this and you wanna see a demo, I'll make a video on this in the future. So if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when that video is ready. So anyway, yeah, another point for the EOS webcam utility. Okay, but after all that comparison, what about the actual video quality, you ask? Hmm, here you go. Here's how it looks like when using the EOS webcam utility. Here's a footage of what it looks like when using the capture card. And just for fun, here's the Logitech C922 webcam. <laughs> One thing to note is that the EOS webcam utility software actually downscales the video resolution to 1024 times 576 pixels. Don't ask me what is that because it's not a normal video format. But also do note that it will ignore whatever video settings you might set on your Canon M50 as well. It's not gonna care whether it's 4K or Full HD, it's just gonna downscale to that 107, what? 102457, whatever the number is on screen right now. <sighs> so this will be a huge disadvantage for you if you really, really care about how crisp and clear your image is when you're doing your live streams or your Zoom calls. Or maybe it's not a big deal since it's a huge bump compared to most of the webcams anyway. I also noticed that there's some stuttering and lag when using the EOS webcam utility. And this can get pretty obvious if you're doing videos where you have very fast motion on screen. But if you're just mostly standing still and doing talking head videos like this, shouldn't be a problem. But we cannot ignore the fact that the quality overall is better using the capture card. So finally, points for the capture card. So overall, if you prefer convenience, I recommend you go ahead and use the EOS webcam utility software. You get up and running in no time. But if you prefer video quality and you're willing to put in the effort to configure it, go ahead, get the capture card, get the HDMI cable and get the best quality. And since you're using a Canon M50 as a webcam, I've made other videos like this one appearing on screen here. You should check it out. Also check out my other Canon M50 tutorials right here.